In this video, I'm going to be explaining how the Miranda skins work in Townstar. There are 50 different Miranda skins that can be applied in Townstar. 5 skins from each of the 10 different packs. Miranda skins have 3 main functions when you apply them. They change the appearance of the object associated with the skin. They grant a movement speed bonus of 2.5% for all units in your town. Units meaning workers and animals and whatnot. That means everything moves faster. This bonus can only be gotten once per pack. And they grant a 1% craft time reduction bonus to all objects in your town. That means all the crafts you make take less time to complete. This bonus can only be gotten once per pack. The maximum bonus you could achieve with the Miranda skins is a 25% movement speed bonus and a 10% craft time reduction bonus to everything in your town. In order to achieve the maximum bonus possible from these Miranda skins, you would have to hold one skin from each of the 10 different packs. That means you only need 10 different skins for the maximum bonus if done correctly. I'm going to cycle through all of the 10 packs and show which skins belong to which packs as I continue to talk. You can check the description of this video for the link to the official Townstar collection on OpenSea, which is where you will find these Miranda skin NFTs. OpenSea is a good option if you wish to purchase these skins from others. There's five important details about how the skins work that I'm going to explain. First, you need to make sure you apply the skin in-game to receive the speed bonus. Anytime you refresh your game, it's a good idea to double check your gala inventory in-game to see if your skins are still applied, as sometimes they will unapply them and you might not realize it right away. Second. You do not need to have the corresponding object placed in your town in order to apply or receive the bonus from the skin. For example, you can apply a skin for a bakery, even if you don't have a bakery built in your town. And if that's the only skin you have applied from pack 3, then you will still get the bonus from it applied to your entire town. Third, you will not get it multiple bonuses from having multiple of the same skin or different skins from the same pack. For example, if you have a bakery skin applied from pack 3 and you also apply an express depot skin from pack 3, you will not get any additional bonus because you already have the bonus associated with pack 3. Fourth, the bonus from the Miranda skins will stack and work alongside with effect cards such as the craft time reduction bonus from the Gusty Winds NFT and the Greasy Wheels NFT. And fifth, skins don't have any earning potential tied to them and therefore will never have the ability to earn you any town cryptocurrency. That being said, the main reason people buy Miranda skins are for the movement speed bonus and craft time reduction bonus. And people typically only buy one card from each of the 10 packs since it's the cheapest and the easiest way to achieve the maximum speed bonus. As for my personal suggestions, these Miranda skin NFTs are a good option for players who wish to gain a good advantage in Townstar competitions, as the speed bonuses not only help you advance your town a bit quicker, but also help with efficiency which can lead to more product being made and sold per hour for more points and cash, which also helps pay your wages in the end. I myself own one skin from each pack for the full bonus, as it really does help me play and compete in the town star competitions. I hope this explanation was able to give you all the information you needed to know about how the Miranda skin NFTs work in town star. Feel free to like the video and leave a comment with your feedback. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing future content I create. Thank you for watching.